Hello, and welcome to the Short Guild demo. My name is Leo. I work in key accounts here at Guild. We really appreciate you taking the time to look into using Guild to build your communities, groups, or networks. I'll start with a few slides for context. We'll then look at the platform and the pricing plans. So what is Guild? Guild is a mobile first platform for building powerful groups, communities, and networks. It's designed to be easy to use like a consumer messaging app, but is purpose-built for people to connect, communicate, and collaborate in a trusted environment. Guild has both a mobile app and a web version. I'll show you the web version shortly, but Guild is very much mobile first. If you haven't got the mobile app yet, I highly encourage you to download it on your phone and get started for free. Guild has no ads, is GDPR compliant, and features include user and engagement data analytics, video rooms for virtual meetups, Zapier integrations and automations, dedicated customer support, and much more. Guild is used by over 4,500 organizations for organizing their members, prospects, customers, and stakeholders. Return on investment can come in many ways, including lead generation, improved customer retention, marketing efficiencies, and insights, and sponsor revenue. On the slide, you can see benchmarks for what to expect for each of those, based on averages across the Guild platform. If you want more information, there are also lots of case studies on the Guild website in the blog. The URL is there on screen if you want to take a look. Now let's have a quick look at our new video rooms feature. When the video room is enabled on your group, members can join the virtual space and share their video and audio feeds. This is great for informal meetups, regular office hours and clinics, and networking sessions. This feature is available on our business and enterprise plans and enables you to talk in real time with your group members, host roundtable discussions, and broadcast a live message to your community. Plus, you get to see your group members' smiling faces, which is always a bonus. Now, who is using Guild? There is a broad range of different organizations on Guild, and they use the platform to host a wide variety of groups, communities, and networks. This includes membership organizations, such as the PRCA, the Marketing Society, and the CIPD. Publishers, such as the Lawyer, host communities on Guild, and a number of technology companies, agencies, and consultants from thought leadership communities, such as Nest, with their e-commerce marketing leaders group. There are advisor communities on Guild, such as e-consultancies advisor group, as well as investor communities, such as Tipjar's group. Our website is constantly updated with Guild case studies. Again, the URL is there on screen. Guild is trusted by charities, nonprofits, and those in the education sector. Manchester Metropolitan University, Cambridge Judd Business School, and the nonprofit PR school, Socially Mobile, host learning and alumni communities on the platform. The child literacy charity Bookmark uses Guild to coordinate its volunteers. Guild is also home to communities of purpose, such as Race Equality Matters and the Anti-Racism Innovation Community. And now let's take a look at Guild. I'll show you the web version of the Guild platform where I'll explore the front end user experience before moving to the back end to look at the configuration, settings, and customization options. So you're now looking at the desktop version of Guild, but as I mentioned, Guild is very much a mobile app first. Now, this is my Guild profile. Yours will look very different based on the groups that you're a member of and the groups that you have started and are hosting. Everybody on Guild has a profile similar to LinkedIn with the different fields, most of which being optional. However, you are able to upload details, your bio and any links, plus a photo if you want to, which can really help with networking and meeting new people on the platform. Guild has a search feature, which means you're able to type in keywords and search across the different group messages of the groups you're a part of um, and profiles as well and DM so you can organize your search results via those different filters. 
Now, looking at the group screen, you can see the different groups that I am currently a part of. If you join a group, it will appear here. You also have a discover tab because groups on Guild can be discoverable or non-discoverable. You can choose to toggle this on and off. And if your group is discoverable, it will be listed here and also in the directory on our website, which means that people are able to find your group and request to join. Direct messages on Guild can be sent between any two people who have sent and accepted each other's connection requests. You can also send direct messages to anybody that you share a group with, which is really useful because you're able to have a one-to-one -one conversation with somebody rather than simply posting the group message that will be seen by the rest of the community. We also have a notifications tab, which helps you keep track of the different conversations that you're a part of on Guild. So if anybody mentions you using the at symbol or applauds one of your messages by clicking the applause button, quite similar to a like, it will appear in your notifications tab. So you're able to check and keep tabs on the different conversations you've started or are a part of. Your network is very similar to uh, an address book. So this is the list of the different people on Guild that you have connected with and then can send one-to-one -one messages and have private conversations with. Again, there's a discover tab because similarly to groups, profiles on Guild can be discoverable or non-discoverable. If you make your profile discoverable, you'll be listed here and then people will be able to send you connection requests if they want to connect with you. Now on Guild, you're able to send people invites for your group within the platform and they will appear here where you can accept them and join the group. But you can also send invites to people who aren't on Guild either by copying this public page link or sending an email invite to them where they'll be able to click through and join your group. In the member settings, you can do standard things like change your email address or password. You can also request all of your personal data and download that as a zip file, which is really helpful for privacy focused people. And you can also have individual control over the notifications on the different groups that you're a part of and choose whether or not you want to receive the emails, which is really helpful for managing that flow of communications. Now, taking a look at the Guild group, this is one that I started to demonstrate some of the different features that are available to you as a host on Guild. On Guild, you have members, but then there are also hosts who can edit the group and let people in and edit the content, etc. and moderators who have the same permissions as the hosts, but are slightly less visible. So in this group, I am the host. You can see I'm displayed there. Also on this page, you can see the purpose of the group, which is the manifesto of your community. So the reason why you've all come together. You can also set the additional guidelines. So if you set a guideline, for example, no selling or no headhunting, and then people aren't abiding by the guidelines that you have set, you have the ability to select that member and remove them if you ever need to. Now, the content on Guild is organized into these different threads. You can see them here with the subject line. People can then respond to those messages to organize the flow of communication um, on these different topics. Everybody on Guild is able to start one of these conversations by clicking this new conversation button. You type in your subject line and your message. You can attach photos, videos, and files up to 100 megabytes and then send that through. As the host of a group, you're able to send this as a visibility boost as well, which means it will be sent as an email to the members of your community, which is a great way to ensure that your message, your important messages get across. As the host, you're also able to enter polls into your group. So you type in your question and then you enter your options down here and click send. And it will then appear within your group like this which means that you can canvas for opinions across your group members using that poll. As the host, you can do things such as delete different messages if you ever need to. You're able to edit the subject titles of these different threads if you want to reframe them slightly. You're also able to pin these threads, which means they will remain at the top of your group, meaning you can ensure the most important information is front and center where it needs to be. 
Another thing that you can do as a host is list events on your group. So your event will be listed like this. If you click create new event, you enter the name, the time, the details, the joining link and click create. Again, you can send it as an email if you want to ensure everybody's aware the event is coming up. It will then appear like this and your members can click on this, add it to their calendars, and then go down to the bottom and click on the registration or the joining link, which means your group members are able to stay up to date with the different in real life or virtual events that you have coming up for your community. On our pro business and enterprise plans, you're able to customize this header at the top of the group and brand your group. And you can also change this logo. This is a guild group, so it still has the guild logo, but you're able to upload your own logo if you want to. The video rooms feature can be accessed by toggling this switch on and off. And then once it is toggled on, your members will be able to click on this icon, see who's currently in the video room and then join and be able to talk to each other in real time. Now to the exciting part, which is starting your own guild group. If you click this new group button, you enter the name of your group, choose whether or not it's discoverable, click create group, and it will appear in this tab here as a new group. Once you've done that, you'll get this admin button in the bottom left of the desktop version of guild. If you click on this, it will take you through to a screen that looks like this. Here from this screen, you're able to edit all the different aspects of your group, all from one page. So you can change your group name, toggle the discoverability on and off. You can reassign the host or add moderators to help with the community management. You're also able to edit the group purpose and additional guidelines from the screen. And there you're able to edit the email invitation message when you're inviting people to your group and also the uh, automated welcome DM that is sent from your host to new, new joiners once they're accepted into your community. Also from the screen, you can add your logo and the header. And then I won't show you now, but if you do click on this group members tab, you're able to see all of the email addresses, names and job titles of the different people in your community, which is really useful for community managers. On our pro business and enterprise plans, you're able to set a date range and then download all of the user and engagement data and the conversation data within your guild group. Again, really, really helpful for community managers to be able to access that data and then either analyze it, record it, use it for um, getting to know your group um, in, in a more accurate way. So then finally, looking at the back end of Guild, we also have the Zapier integrations. Now, the Zapier integrations are different recipes that you can use to get two different pieces of software to talk to one another. So if you have your newsletter, for example, MailChimp, you can automatically integrate it with Guild. So if somebody signs up for your newsletter, they're also invited to your Guild group or vice versa. You can have Zapier integrations for Stripe and PayPal and many other payment services. If you have, for example, uh, member payments, and then you can also get it to automatically talk to your CRM system, which is a really easy way of automating aspects of your community management. So we'll have a look at the pricing plans. You can sign up for a basic account and get started for free. This gives you all the core features, one group with up to 100 members, but no branding and analytics or additional moderators. Our pro plan is designed for individuals and small businesses who want extra features such as the data and analytics, brand customization options, multiple moderators and the Zapier integrations, so Guild can be incorporated with your technology stack. Our business plan is for organizations who want multiple admins, hosts and moderators, and more members in an unlimited number of groups. You also get priority customer support, onboarding and guidance from our customer success team. Finally, choose enterprise plans for custom requirements and dedicated account management. Contact us and we'll discuss your needs and tailor a plan just for you. If you need help with your community strategy or management, 
This is something that we can also provide. We offer community operations and fully managed community services as add-ons. Get in touch with us if you'd like to discuss your specific needs. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or would like to discuss how to get started, please get in touch with us via the contact page, guild.co forward slash contact. We look forward to the prospect of you and your group, community or network finding a home on the Guild.